hello guys assalamu alaikum my name is aftab ahmed and welcome back to my channel and today's topic is how to get admission in belgium universities as well as how to get the scholarship opportunities so today i invite my friend he is from turkey he is studying in belgium on a good scholarship so he will talk to you how to get admission so please introduce yourself first uh, hello guys i'm onur yell i'm from turkey I study in Belgium for two years. Um, I'm a bachelor student. I study chemical engineering in Kaluve, which is the best one in Belgium. Also, it's it's top, like it's at top 50. So the university itself is a good one, and it gives you unique opportunities if you manage to uh, finish the university with a good grades. So thank you so much. Uh, I will ask four or five questions from you about how to get admission as well as scholarship opportunities. My first question is uh, how to get admission. It's an online application and you don't have to contact with any professors and you just apply via their website mm -hmm. and they, they it's easy to read and yeah. Okay, so that's great. Uh, the admission requirements, which documents we will submit for the admission? A must is your transcript. And a reference letter from the teachers or the professors, uh, your CV, your mm -hmm. CV, uh, a personal statement, also a documentation that shows you you know English. And what is the importance of IELTS if a person is having IELTS examination? So it's, uh, without IELTS, is, uh, admission is possible or not? Uh, actually, you have so many options there. Uh, IELTS is a good one because it's well known. It's, if you take IELTS, it's good because the admission committee knows what is IELTS. Like the, the other examinations like TOEFL or Cambridge, you can also go for them. They also accept this. But you, you really have to state that you know English. For if you're taking IB curriculum, you don't have to enter these examinations. Oh, that's great, man. Uh, tell me also about the scholarship opportunities. Is there any scholarship opportunities that our international students got easily? Need-based scholarship or uh, um, merit-based scholarship? Uh, as I know, there is no need-based scholarship for Belgium, but the tuition fees are kind of low for American or uh, European universities. Uh, yeah, but on the other hand, you can take merit scholarships as I did. So with that case, you have to take your grades at the top point okay. as, as much as you can. Okay. Also, you have to work on your CV too. The reason why I get that much amount of scholarship is was all about my CV. Oh, that's great. That's a very good discussion about the admission. Uh, also, give a short message to my viewers about uh, the, the upcoming students who want to join uh, Belgium universities or any European universities. So, yeah, that's a good one too. Uh, the students should be working a lot. Like it's kind of easier to get into university there in Europe, basically. It depends on the university actually. But uh, there are less scholarship uh, opportunities in Europe, but the tuition fees is kind of low. It's so small for Germany, Belgium, Denmark. But but you have to you have to be sure that be sure that you are capable to pass your courses. If you are unable to make it, if you are not good at math, uh, you will not make it. Uh, the dropout rate is like 75 percentage in my university. Last year we were like 150 people. Now we are just 60. And my, half of my class is having three or four courses from the first year. So. Uh, in my case, I passed my courses, but still, uh, still it's so hard. It's going to be hard in your university process too, but if you manage to graduate, uh, you can easily find good jobs and, and yeah, but you will be, you will be selected even though in university process too. Okay, so very good conversation with you and thank you so much for the time. 
and uh, okay guys uh, see you in my next video uh, assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh